It's not the way most people want to spend their New Year's Eve. But again, thousands lined up for a test, despite the Premier's continued pleas not to. If you are not required uh, to be tested uh, with a PCR test, uh, don't line up because you'll be taking the place of somebody who is required by New South Wales Health to receive that PCR test. Instead, pushing for a new goal. Please make it your New Year's resolution. Go out and get a booster shot. Hoping boosters will help ease the pressure as COVID cases continue to soar. In the past 24 hours, infections nearly doubled to more than 21,000. Six people died and hospitalisations have risen past 830. 69 of those in intensive care. The Premier is still confident though the health system remains strong. We monitor every single day our hospitalisations and our ICU capacity. Others say it's at breaking point. Staff are of course working excessive amounts of overtime. Uh, people are being recalled from leave. In a leaked email obtained by the ABC, staff at St Vincent's Hospital were told by its executive director there is significant concern there will be a surge in ED activity during the next few days, which may leave us extremely vulnerable and potentially compromise patient care. We just can't fill our shifts. We don't have the staff and that is uh, impacting on uh, patient care. New South Wales Health says some other major Sydney hospitals have workforce surge plans in place but are experiencing no current issues with their emergency departments. I think that it's clear that the government's decision to scrap QR codes and mask mandates midway through December was the wrong decision. We do need to live with COVID but that doesn't mean that we live without government. And in a bid to ease the pressure on testing clinics even more, as of today, international travellers no longer have to do a PCR test, only rapid antigen tests one day after they arrive, and another swab on day six. Nakari Thorpe, ABC News, Sydney.